This video is going to show you how you can create a Windows 10 or 11 disk. Now, if you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you how you can create a Windows 10 or 11 disk to enable you to install Windows 10 or 11 or reinstall it. Now, first of all, if you're planning to reinstall your current system and you need a disk to do this, then probably the best way to do this is to create a recovery drive. Now, what you're going to need to create a recovery drive is a 16 gigabyte or more USB flash drive or pen drive whatever you want to call it but it must be at least 16 GB in size and it must have nothing on it that you want to keep because it is going to wipe the disk now if you don't want this then hang tight I'm going to be showing you the other way of creating a disk in a little while but grab your pen drive okay plug it into your computer or your laptop give it a few seconds wait until something comes up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen to signify that the disk has been recognized now as i say i can't stress this enough this is going to wipe whatever is on the disk so if you've got anything important on there make sure you copy it off now or use a different disk because you are going to lose it okay the amount of people that uh, write to me and say oh I didn't realize I was going to lose anything everything if only you'd warn me well I do warn you and this is your warning so don't forget if you're going to use this disk you are going to lose everything off the disk so make sure it's a disk you don't have anything important on okay and you're not going to be able to use this disk for anything else until you've reinstalled your system right so what we need to do is we need to click on the start button you can do this in windows 10 or windows 11 okay once you've clicked the start button and the start menu has appeared just type on your keyboard recovery okay and hopefully after a few seconds under best match recovery drive should appear move your mouse over recovery drive and then once you've moved your mouse over it left click once and then it should come up do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device well as long as it says recovery media creator and the verified publisher is microsoft windows then it's okay to move your mouse over yes and left click once then you should see this here it says create a recovery drive even if your pc can't start you can use a recovery drive to reset it or troubleshoot problems. If you back up system files to this drive, you'll also be able to use it to reinstall Windows. So make sure there's a tick just to the left of backup system files to the recovery drive. Then move your mouse over next, left click once. Okay, so it says please wait. This bit might take a bit of time. What it's doing is it's searching for whatever drives you have plugged into your system and, and what drives it can use. So I should have said make sure that the only drive that's plugged into your USB sockets on your system is the drive that you want to wipe and put a copy of Windows 10 or Windows 11 on it. Now, again, I should stress that this disk can only be used on the system that you're creating this drive with. You can't use it on anybody else's system. It just won't reinstall. There might be a chance if you know somebody who's got exactly the same system with exactly the same specifications, exactly the same model, that you may well be able to use it in that but for all intents and purposes, I would take it as you can only use this drive in the current system that you're creating it on. So as you can see now, the little green bar is going from left to right. Now, as I said, it will take a little bit of time. It's just preparing some bits and bobs. So just be patient with it, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it when it's come to the next step. So finally, it said select the USB flash drive. The drive must be able to hold at least 16 GB, that's 16 gigabytes, and everything on the drive will be deleted. So as you can see here, it's given me available drives and it's told me my D drive, this is the one I just plugged in, 
is available. So if you're sure, if you're 110% sure you've, you've picked, uh, selected the right drive and you've got nothing on it that's important to you, then move your mouse over next and left click once. And then, OK, we get a second warning here saying everything on the drive will be deleted. If you have any personal files on this drive, make sure you've backed them up. So this is your last chance. It's going to lose all the files on the drive if you click create now. So if you've got anything personal on here or you want to choose a different drive, then click cancel at this point. But if you're ready to proceed and create the recovery drive, then move your mouse over create and left click once. Now there you go, it's creating the recovery drive. Now this is going to take probably more than an hour and it may look as though it's paused at times, but don't worry, it hasn't. Please make sure that your laptop is plugged into the mains if you're doing it off of a laptop and make sure that it doesn't shut itself down. So you might need to come back to this every few minutes if your laptop is set to power off after a certain amount of time if you don't touch the key. Just wiggle the mouse, okay, just to keep it alive. But please make sure that you don't do anything else on this particular computer while it's creating. Otherwise, it'll interrupt it and it will come up with a message saying it couldn't create the drive. I've found that out after years of creating these drives. It's best to just leave it and let it do its own thing. And just every few minutes, just come back and just wiggle the mouse just to stop the computer from going to sleep. So as you can see now, it says it's formatting the drive and now it's create copy in the utilities and like I say, the little green bar will appear in this area here and it will build up, but it will be very, very slow. Like I say, in most cases, this will take more than an hour. So please, patience is the word of the day here. Be very, very patient with it and let it create. As you can see, the first part of the green bar has now appeared. Once this has finished, it will say the recovery drive is ready and then you can use it to boot from the drive. Now to boot from your drive, you need to contact your manufacturer for details on how to boot from this drive. Or in a lot of cases, what you could try to do is you could try to click on the start button, click on the power icon. Again, you can do this in Windows 10 or Windows 11. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click restart and keep the shift key held down. So as I say, click on the start button, then click on power. And before you click restart, hold down the shift key on your keyboard. Keep it held down whilst clicking restart. And there you go. You should see please wait come up. Keep it held down and then what will happen is the system should restart and boot into a special mode which should then allow you to boot into another drive. Once you see the screen go black, let go of the shift key and hopefully in a second we should see, there you go, please wait, come up. In some cases, it may go straight into the uh, into, into the boot mode. And there we go. So we get this menu come up here. And in most cases in here, there will be an option to boot from other media, such as a, a USB drive. So try and find that. But if you're trying to create a Windows 10 or 11 disk for another system, a friend's system, say perhaps, then what you're going to need is a, uh, a again, a USB flash drive or a pen drive of eight gigabytes or more and again this drive must have nothing on it you need because it is going to wipe the whole drive so what we need to do is we need to open up our browser now in this example I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge okay I'm going to go to the address bar right at the very top of the screen there okay delete out anything that's in it and type in there microsoft.com forward slash software hyphen download forward slash and then the type of system we're going to be creating the disk for so if it's windows 10 you want to type in there windows 10 if it's windows 11 then you want to type windows 11 so that's microsoft.com forward slash software hyphen download forward slash and then either windows 10 or or Windows 11. So I've typed in Windows 11. The same process applies for Windows 10. So we want to go down this page here 
and we want to get to the section where it says create Windows 10 or 11 installation media. So as I've typed in Windows 10 in the address at the top of the screen, it's going to create Windows 11 installation media. But as you'll see here, if I type in Windows 10 at the top, the same sort of page comes up and there you go. It gives you the option to create Windows 10 installation media. So once you've seen that, then go to the blue and white download now button just underneath where it says create Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation media. Left click once and then you should see either in the top right hand corner or bottom left hand corner media creation tool appear. Once that's finished downloading, you can either click on open file up there or if you haven't got an open file, then close down your browser, go to any yellow folder and try and find downloads just on the left there or on the top there. Go into it and then look for media creation tool. If you're downloading a Windows 10 installation media, then it may well say media creation tool and there may be some numbers and letters after it. Don't worry, this is perfectly normal. So just double click on media creation tool if you've gone down this method and it should say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says Microsoft Windows below that and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then it's OK to move your mouse over yes and left click once. It may look as though nothing's happening for a while and then it will come up getting a few things ready. And again, this might hang for a little while. Just be patient with it. OK, so you're going to see applicable notes now and license terms. So obviously feel free to have a look through the license terms there. And if you agree with them, move your mouse over, accept left click once. And again, we're going back to getting a few things ready. Now we come to select language and addition. Now, as you can see here, there's a tick next to use the recommended options for this PC. Now, generally, these are going to be good for, for use on any system. But if you know the system is a different type of system, like I say, it's a different, got a different language, then you can untick this and you can select here the different language or the addition in Windows 11. There is only one addition. Now, I should say, if you're creating a Windows 10 installation media, you'll have two choices come up. It says, what do you want to do now? Upgrade this PC or create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file for another PC. So obviously make sure you select create installation media and then click next. And on Windows 10, there are some extra choices. So if we untick this box here, we've got the language, which is obviously English, in my case, United Kingdom, the addition, which is Windows 10. There's nothing else to select there. But we've also got architecture. Now, if you're not sure of the architecture, then I would say click on that and go for both. In actual fact, in most cases, the architecture will be 64-bit, but there were some systems that uh, may have been 32-bit. If you've got a Dell system, for instance, there's a small chance that it might be a 32-bit system. I think Median as well had 32-bit copies of Windows 7, which when you obviously upgraded to Windows 10, they would have carried forward to Windows 10. But if you're not sure, go for both. OK, and that will create a installation disk for both 32 and 64 bit systems. So once you've selected your options from here, move your mouse over next, left click once, and then it's going to ask you, what do you want to burn? Do you want to burn a USB flash drive? It needs to be at least 8 GB, 8 gigabytes, as I say, or do you want to create an ISO file to write to a DVD later? Now, if you create an ISO file, you're going to need a DVD that has a capacity of more than about six gigabytes. So it's going to have to be a dual layer DVD. And believe you me, I, I don't know of anybody that's got any dual layer DVDs themselves. I think most drives are dual layer, but most DVDs are going to be 4.7 gigabytes. So the best way, the easiest way to do this is really to do it on a USB flash drive. If you can, they're very, very cheap. An eight gigabyte flash drive will probably cost you about three pound, three dollars, something like that. It's not going to be much. So once you've selected USB flash drive, OK, put your 
flash drive into the system. And again, like I say, make sure there's nothing important on there because whatever you've got on there is going to be wiped. Okay, so plug it in, leave it for a couple of seconds. If anything comes up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, then you know it's been detected. Click on next and there we go. It says select a USB flash drive. Well, I've only got one USB drive plugged in. So there you go. That's the one that uh, it's selected. So what I should have said here is make sure you've got no other external hard drives or USB flash drives plugged in at this point. So you can't get them mixed up. Here we are. So it says the files on your USB drive will be deleted. To keep these files, back them up now to another save location. So if you're happy that you want to lose all of the files on this drive and overwrite them with Windows 10 or Windows 11 setup files, then click on next. OK, so it says getting a few things ready. Now, this is going to take again, it could take more than an, an hour because it's got to download all of the files for either Windows 10 or Windows 11. That's going to take some time in itself to your, your computer. And then it's got to copy them to the flash drive and then it's got to verify everything. So this is going to take some time. So again, if you're running a laptop, make sure it's plugged in to the mains at this point so it doesn't run out of battery and uh, just come back to it every few minutes and just wiggle the mouse if you can just to keep the uh, the laptop alive so it doesn't go to sleep. But please make sure that you're not running anything else on this laptop while you're doing this because it could interrupt the process. So once it's finished, it says your USB flash drive is ready. So all you've got to do is click on finish just down in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then it starts cleaning up. And then hopefully after a while, you should be back to this screen here if you went to the downloads folder. If you didn't, if you run it from your browser, then you want to close your browser down and then go into any yellow folder and then go to downloads. And then we can delete the media creation tool. Now, like I say, if you downloaded Windows 11, it should just say media creation tool. If you downloaded Windows 10, then it will say media creation tool and there'll be some numbers and letters after it. So whatever you've you've got there, left click once on it and then press the delete or Dell key on your keyboard and then that will delete that from the downloads folder to free up space on your computer. Now, what the next thing you're going to have to do is just close this window down and then eject the disk. So click on the little arrow pointing upwards, find your little USB icon, click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. And then you'll get this menu come up and just click on eject. And then hopefully after a few moments, it should say to you, that uh, the disk can now be ejected. If you don't see it, then the best thing to do is to shut your system down by clicking on the start button, then power logo, then click shut down and just wait for all the lights to go off on your computer and the fans to stop spinning and then unplug the drive. Otherwise, it could corrupt what's on the drive. And then what you can do is you can use that disk in your computer or another computer to reinstall Windows 10 or Windows 11. All you gotta do is boot from that disk. Now to boot from it, as I said earlier, probably the best thing to do is boot up the PC if it will boot up and then click on the power logo, click on restart whilst holding down the shift key and then you should get the option then to boot from the USB drive. If you can't get into the system, then obviously have a look at your computer's manual or contact your system manufacturer to find out how you would boot from a USB pen drive. So there you go. I hope this guide helps. And if it did, don't forget, stick around. I've got thousands of other videos on my YouTube channel covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all.
You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.